friends and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley cooking with friends inspiration video. Today we're going to take a look at some of the most amazing submissions for this challenge that we have so far and hopefully inspire you if you haven't been inspired. If I sound a little bit weird, uh, it's because uh, I feel a little bit sick. My wife just tested positive for COVID, so I'm kind of kind of scared that I'm going to get it too. So, yeah, not feeling so great right now, but I'm sure these dream snaps are going to make me feel much better. So this is my dream snap. I don't know what to tell you about it. I'm not I'm not 100% happy with how it turned out. This whole thing started uh, as uh, uh, my, my initial idea was to have a bunch of octopuses uh, with invisible glitch attacking me, something like this. I still feel like this <laughs> this would be a more interesting idea. Uh, we tried it out during the live stream, but I guess it didn't look cooking enough. People reminded me that uh, I probably want to get moonstones for this challenge, so I probably shouldn't go with this. <laughs> Anyway, if somebody wants to implement this idea, you have my permission. You can steal it and send it to me. I want to see this, how it does in the end. But yeah, this is fun. This is fun. This turned out okay. Uh, definitely not my favorite submission. Not even close. But I hope it does well because it has a bunch of close-ups of different foods. And we have friends. Eric and Gaston. Anyway. If you guys are wondering what website I'm using to see all of these dream snaps, check out Dreamers Portal. The link in the description. Let's go at Cooking with Friends Inspiration. Now, I've seen a lot of people using the octopus tables, so I feel like it was kind of safe to use it. Oh, we have Scrooge here as well. That is good. You have a bunch of ingredients, so instead of uh, ready dishes, you went for lots of ingredients and you have... Uh, like a little bar set up in the middle. I like it. This is outside too. It kind of have inside feel to it. Nicely done, Mindy. Hoping the hibachi chef vibes come across. May tweak a bit throughout the week. Food still disappearing. Oh god. Yes, disappearing glitch made my blood boil today. Working on my dream snap. Especially if you have food close to the camera. Forget about it. It's so bad. Anyway, I love this. Super cute, great colors, very cool chef. We have Becky Tucker, heavenly meal with friends on a camping trip. I just love how this picture... I just love this picture, I hope it does well. I hope it does well too. This is nice. It's It has more of a uh, barbecue vibe. I feel like barbecues are also going to be very popular. So we have friends living in tents. I love the, the composition and the setup. I I would change one little thing. I would change the lighting. I would try to play around uh, with the lighting and try to get the sun to hit the character a little bit more. And not just the character, the whole scene a little bit more from the front. I feel like it could help the colors of the shot pop. But I love the waterfall. Like, the whole setup is incredible. We have Brit, who already got 100 likes. Figured I could never get a better shot with the birds, so I went with it. Oh! My, my! You have cookout with friends and your friends are critters! This is so cool! The fireworks also flawless. The birds are flawless. And I don't see any, like, any obstacles on the ground to trap them in. So you didn't trap the birds, you actually made it happen naturally. Honestly, this might be the best bird shot. Like, look at this bird. Look at this little bird. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's so good. It has a, a, a shine behind, it has a bunch of sparks. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Great Narak, cooking with friends or four characters I randomly found. <laughs> Was it really random? They they seem like they fit, like each of them have their own spot. Are they not? I feel like they have to be locked in place, right? With some rocks or something inside. 
And you have a raccoon, such a good positioning too. I'm surprised I didn't think of that, to have a like cookout with, with critters. I feel like it's such a cute idea. Yeah, I think I think this is going to do very well. Also love how white everything looks. So bright, going to catch attention so easily. Nicely done, love it. We have Auronis. Madrigal sisters baking for family. That is a cool looking feast. And a little plant in the middle. That's so cool. I love when, when people creatively use mannequins. It has such strong Encanto vibes, this whole thing. Beautiful colors. Just flawless. Incredible work. Incredible work, Aronis. Julia Wilson with a beautiful, huge cake. We're going to see a lot of this chef's outfit uh, in this week. I mean, it's literally the best outfit to use because all of these items have all four tags and they're literally on the top of the dream snap list. Of course, people are going to use them. That is awesome. The lights, though, the colors, the filter fits so well. Everything looks so red and juicy. Wait, is there a filter here? I can't even tell. I feel like there must be because considering how f the sun is behind you, your character is pretty bright. That just kind of looks like a uh, royal celebration gifts. Like this, uh, this tells a whole story. Incredible. Love this one so much. Miss Ravenswood. Whoa, that's a lot of text. Barbecue with my robot friends. This is the first rough draft. Of course it is. <laughs> It looks flawless to me, what do you mean? Okay, there has been some updates. Final update, made a few tiny tweaks to decorations. Yeah, I'm working right now on the feature where every time you update your submission, you're gonna have an option to save it as a new version, meaning that somebody would be able to, ha to see the full version history. So if somebody wants, they could go into version history and see all of the changes that you've made from your first Dream Snap to your last. Or, like, this is going to be totally optional. You could just uh, upload a new Dream Snap and replace and have only one version. So it's going to be it's going to be a choice. I feel like it, there's so many people who tweak their submissions a lot. And I feel like it could be fun to see how it started and how it ended up. This is, this is just amazing. I have not seen... I think this might be my first time seeing the Flo, uh, Flo's Cafe. The, the big one in the dream snap. No, okay, not not the first time, but first time when it's actually used like a, a main attraction. It's like right in the middle and it looks beautiful, especially with the fireworks around it. That is so good. The grill, some picnic tables. Also, this just made me realize something. This theme is kind of similar to, to Disney Park's snack bar. Just in, in terms that it's also, also connected to food. So, even though it feels like it's a completely different theme, it still has a, a, like a small relation to one of the previous Dream Snaps. I want to see something completely different. Even though I do enjoy this theme. I just, for some reason, I just didn't feel much inspiration for it. I don't know why. Wait a second. You're telling me that fireworks are meant to explode in a Mickey shape? Oh, look at this! Wait, is there some kind of a bug? Wait, what, what is going on with moving around? Oof. Does anybody else have issue on PC when you zoom in and try to move it? It's like, initially, it doesn't... It's like, kind of strange. Anyway, it looks... it works fine on the phone. I'm not sure if it was always like that or is it a bug in one of the latest updates. Also, the food on... The oh, this is annoying. <laughs> I just found the bug. The Wally and Eve, like all the robots. It's so good. Like, this is... This is what it's all about. Such a unique execution. I really hope it does well. It looks fantastic. We have Hannah. And uh, this is a very interesting concept. It's a very unique looking kitchen, fully indoors. So far, probably the first submission I've seen indoors, even though I know there's going to be a lot of indoor kitchens. I just love how well this kitchen is designed. It looks, it doesn't look like a traditional kitchen, not at all. It, it, it uses items that I've never seen used together. For example, 
Encanto table on the side like this in the corner, flawless. These counters with the sink, with the fridge, with the painting, with this windows. Like this whole combo. I've never seen anything like it before. But it looks flawless. I don't know what to tell you. This is going to do extremely well. I'm, I'm pretty confident. Banana Cat. Eve's Nature Cafe. Took a while to get Eve away from the vine wall. She kept on looking at uh, what felt for 10 minutes. I loved how it turned out, but I wish it was a little brighter. There's a very simple way to make it brighter. You just put a bunch of chandeliers on top. It's probably not going to fit, but also I feel like in this particular case, you don't... Even the lights that you do have, they're not on. So what if you put... First of all, set the time of day to be sunset, so the lights turn on. And also put a couple windows behind you, because I feel like that's where the sun is. So you might get some sunlight on your characters. I do love the concept, though. It looks like a little like a little fancy restaurant. That's awesome. We have Sweet Juju with another barbecue submission. Oh, yeah. Finally, my Kristoff getting some recognition. This cottage just, in my opinion, made for barbecue. It's a, it gives a huge summer vibes. I love how you have a bunch of other houses in the back. It looks like it, it's like a little village in the forest or something like that. It's just, it's just great. Got some meats already prepared. I can't see a single thing I would change about this dream snap. It's just flawless. Super cool vibe. And this encapsulates cooking with friends perfectly. Like this is exactly like. If somebody asked me to describe what is going on in this picture without even knowing what this dream snap was, I would just say cooking with friends. Now, I can't not show the submission. <laughs> Helena says, could you submit more food? <laughs> yeah, I feel like there is still a few spots in here which you could put a couple more dishes. Like this square right here. Seems like it could use another dish. We have... Okay, here you definitely want to zoom in. So let, let's go let's go one by one here. We have different herrings, all kinds of herrings, jars, seafood platter, uh, all kinds of desserts. Oh man, moving on PC is not fun. I don't know what's going on. Oh boy, this is bad. Gotta fix this. We have every single kind of sushi in the middle, every single kind of puff soups more soups it's like is it every dish in the game what on earth <laughs> how 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 do you come up with this how does it look so good i love this i feel like people just won't be able not to vote for it it's just too perfect we have helena with very interesting pink vibes i guess cooking desserts is still cooking Helping Vanellope cook parts of her car. First submission made on my new PC and monitor. Let's go! Congratulations! That's a good feeling. I, I hope I hope it doesn't crash as much as... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you used to play on Switch. I, I bet it, it just can't be worse than, than Switch, to be honest. This is so good. I love the pink vibes. Definitely gonna help it stand out. And... Uh, it totally makes sense. You have little part like it, it. It is exactly what you said it is. If somebody watched uh, Wreck It Ralph, they will figure out what's happening. And even if they didn't, it's still a beautiful scene. So I'm expecting 4K for this for sure. We have MAB camping with my favorite girls. Anna and Mirabel are serving. Rapunzel is painting. Moana is cooking, and Belle and I found a capybara in the forest. That's the most important of all of the activities. The food is delicious and ready. Come join us. Oh my, the, the vibe, the background, it's just so magical. It literally looks like you're, like the whole scene looks so organic. You're having fun. There is food. Oh my God, that is good. It's like a night, it's also getting uh, late. But it still looks very bright. Like the colors are perfect. Every it's just perfect. 
And you can tell by how many reactions this uh, photo... It, it has almost as many rea reaction dislikes, which is... Which is rare to see. Kimberly! Whoa, the fires look flawless. I can't wait to get the, fly the fires uh, myself. I've seen so many, so many incredible snaps with the fires. And it looks like this stump is on fire. Wait, can somebody explain to me how do you do this? Because I'm currently on that Eve's quest. Do I need to... So, for me, the fires spawned in the area, uh, like, under the bridge, under the ruins. The fires are there, and I have a task to put them out. So, I'm assuming after I put them out, they're gonna spawn uh, near the docks area. And that's... I should leave them there if I want to use them in my dream snaps, right? If I leave them there, I'll be able to make dream snaps like this. This is mind-blowing. The sparks. I want these fires. I absolutely want these fires. This is awesome. Nice, nicely done, Kimberly. Aurora Bloodletter. That is a sick name. I love how simple the shot is. But I can definitely tell there was a lot of thought that went into the composition. Very nice use of the fire in the background. You have the, I mean, in the foreground, the octopus. I wish, I just wish the shot was a little bit wider. Like if it was 16 by 9. To, to capture more, more of the kitchen. But I, I love how simple it is. It looks very complete. It does not look empty at all. Nicely done. Share a lane! I feel like I'm going a little against the flow, but I don't mind because making dark and calm cooking with my traditional bestie Jack. Look how exhausted he is after helping me. And having strange dishes for dinner with him is a familiar scenario. Like this. I think it's worth it. And how professional it looks. Hope you like it. This entire wonderful community is invited. Thank you so much for the invite. That is definitely unique. Definitely a risky, very out-of-the-box submission. If I were to offer some feedback, I would say you need to have some food out. I feel like it's gonna... Maybe... What is the food that looks like very spooky and something scary? Maybe something a little bit disgusting. Uh, I would honestly... I would keep this grill... And I would replace this this grill with a table or a counter that has a bunch of gross food or like spooky food. It would look so good and it's gonna enhance the, uh, the cooking vibe. Make it more obvious that this is about cooking. Because right now, I don't see any food. Even though I think... Is this... I think there is some food on this table, but it's very difficult to see. I just love the vibe of the shot. I really want it to do so well. April Rice, girls pool party with fireworks. Mother Gothel is perfect here. Her skin glows, the lighting is fantastic. It looks like Ursula and Anna just together, just, just looking at the camera and waving. It's so awesome, so wholesome. Amazing shot, so much going on. Very unique vibe to it too. Yeah, Summer Cottage is awesome. If you're gonna make a barbecue, I feel like Summer Cottage is the perfect house to use as a backdrop. No, Pippin! Don't do this! <laughs> Every time there is something to do with cooking, somebody makes a submission when they're cooking Pua. Cooking with friends. I just wonder how many roasting Pua submissions we're gonna see this week. It's just a photo for fun. Way too cruel to actually submit it, but I kinda like it, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, good. I was kinda afraid that... Uh, that, that that was your actual submission. I, I thought it was... That, that would be too simple for you. So, cannot wait to see your actual submission. But I have a feeling we are going to see a couple submissions like this. Momo T. Version 2. Much happier with this one. Yeah, see, this is why we need versions. Because I could go now and see version 1. And see what changed, what got improved. Oh, I cannot wait for that feature to come out. It's going to be glorious. Perfect positioning of the characters. The the back the background house on the background just looks so good. 
Wow. Okay, you know what? This might sound crazy. But I have a feeling this is going to be in top 10. I don't know why. It's just so nice to look at. It's captivating. It's gorgeous. It's perfect in every way. It's just... I don't know. I, I have some special feeling about this one. I don't know why. I can't explain it. All right, we're going to end end this uh, review inspiration video with a submission by Nikolai. I said cheese, not kiss. This was supposed to be Alfredo Linguini and Remy, but Remy, you can never see him, but you can hear him. Accidentally zoomed in the octopus. You can see Scrooge spying. There's so much going on in here. Mickey and Minnie kissing, first of all. Well, clipping noses. I guess it counts as, ki as kissing. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Is this... Oh, this is a transparent table. So you have all the food. Now this... This is gonna... Follow me in my nightmares today. <laughs> this is so cool. Donald and Daisy also kissing. The, the, what is going on? What, what did you put in that food? Why is why is everybody kissing? This is so awesome. But Donald is kissing, but still looking at you. Wow, the backdrop is gold and red and fireworks. And Scrooge is there too. Oh my god, this is good. Scrooge store in the middle as well. Oh wait, this is not Scrooge store. This is Remy's building. Wow. The use of pearls as, as borders. There is so much going on in this shot. The wooden floors. The sakura trees. The lights, the fireworks, the orbs, the food. This might be the most insane shot I've seen this week. My god. That is insane. This is absolutely mind-blowing. <laughs> Love this shot so much. Alright guys, this is all I got for you for today. There is hundreds of submissions to get inspired from on Dreamers Portal. Go check it out. Go leave a like on your favorite submissions. And maybe even a reaction if you love it a lot. And uh, now you can leave a comment as well. So nice place to share your own dream snaps. And socialize with other dream snap enthusiasts. On Dreamers Portal. Huge thanks for watching. And thank you so much everybody for support. You guys are awesome. Uh, I cannot wait to see what you come up with uh, for the rest of this week. This is just from two days. We still have five more days this week. And I cannot wait to see what the ne next theme is going to be. I don't know why. I just didn't feel this one. Sometimes it just happens. Sometimes you feel super inspired for a certain theme. Sometimes you just don't. So it's okay. It's going to pass. And next week, potentially, you're going to feel super inspired. Uh, let's see, let's see uh, the results. Cannot wait to see your results for the Deluxe Challenge. Subscribe not to miss that video coming out very soon. And there's also a couple more very interesting videos coming later this week. So subscribe not to miss it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.